Hey everybody, happy Friday. All right, before I start talking, let's make sure I'm in the right place. You know, once you go live in the wrong place, you then become paranoid. All right, I see myself over on my page. All right, hello, is anybody there yet? If you're watching the recording, just fast forward a few minutes. It takes me a minute to get all, everything set up you know, all the technology stuff. All right, I see a few people jumping on. Now I have to, the only way I can see my comments is on my iPad. It's very strange. Hi, Marianne, very nice to see you. Thanks for joining me. I see Debbie, hello neighbor. Are you dry over there on your side of the neighborhood? We have had some crazy weather today. Hi, Pam. Um, we've been waiting all week for this weather here in South Texas. Hi, Rachel. Here in South Texas, we get what we call rain bombs, and they only come every now and then. That's about all the rain we get. And so today was the day we were waiting for, and it was crazy this morning. And it's just been raining on and off, and I, you know, it was nice, enjoyable rain. And then I um, got up to come over and get everything set up, and I heard something, and I look over, and my ceiling has just opened up and there's water coming out and like raining down over on where I keep all my plugs and stuff for all my lights. That was like seven minutes ago. <laughs> so hopefully nothing shorts out and like we have a crazy mess. This ceiling has done this before um, and we had it repaired. And I quickly was texting my husband and he says, well, I guess we need to call him again. And I was like, maybe we need to call somebody else because I don't think he did a good enough job the first time. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I know, it's weird. It's in a really weird place. My porch is here and I don't know. Anyway, of course, it's in my, my studio. All right, so I see lots of you on here today. Um, thanks for joining me. We're gonna get started in a few minutes. There's so much to talk about. Um, I just kind of want to review the share what you love. I talked to you guys about that on Tuesday. If you buy the bundles, you get free stuff from me. Um, I've got a PDF of 10 projects. Here they all are. We looked at them on Tuesday. I won't go through them again. Um, so you get a PDF of those if you buy the first bundle. The second bundle you get uh, make and takes and, for free. And the third bundle you get um, a free goodie. It's a surprise. All right, so that's that. I have been trying to email those out every evening or the next morning, so if you ordered and you didn't get it from me, let me know. I've set a reminder so that I would do those daily. Um, I don't wanna to get too far behind and you guys be waiting for those PDFs. And the second thing is the All-Star Tutorial Bundle for May is out and I printed it. Yes, let's see if I can show you. 13 full color step-by-step -step tutorials. We do these every month. Here are all the ladies on my team. Um, we design, um, a tutorial that's in both imperial and metric is that what it's called <laughs> measurements and they're here so anybody around the world can use them and we're all all the people on this design team are from around the world and we do these every month and I give these for free with a $50 order from my online store so if you order the share what you love you got this too um, but it's any $50 pre-tax pre-shipping um, we also have um, the, the two classes that are coming up, we've got the lemon zest class. So don't forget if you want to sign up for that over on my blog right now, the project sheets went live. Here they are. These are today's projects. And over here on the second page is all the stuff that I'm offering right now. And there's little web addresses that you can hopefully type in. Otherwise you can email me or find them on my blog. Um, so we've got the lemon zest class and the really cute message in a bottle class. All of those are to go. So if you're interested in those, make sure you hop over there. I'm offering some um, combined shipping on those as well as another free treat if you get both of them. All right, so then the third thing, let's see, I've got prizes. Um, the third thing I'm gonna tell you a little bit about is my In Color Club. And my In Color Club has um, started to get, starting to get really popular over the last uh, three or four years. It's a great way to get all the new in color products. Um, you can look in the catalog when you get it, which guess what's on my porch right now? Five giant boxes of catalogs. 
Um, but these are our new colors and they're the inks are actually available right now to order did you guys know that it's kind of buried with the share what you love stuff it's there and you can order the inks so you get all five colors but if you don't want to order those right now you should join my in color club so every month my in color club gets one color um i like I order a pack of markers and I split it between five people and one person's gonna get the blueberry, one per person's gonna get the lipstick and everybody's gonna get a different color each month. And you're gonna get the paper and you're gonna get the ink pad, which is our new design. You're gonna get the bolt of ribbon and somebody asked yesterday what the width of that is. It's an eighth of an inch, it's a good tiny ribbon. Um, ties very nicely. Next week's Facebook Friday is gonna be all about these new colors. So make sure that you join me. And that's going to be on Thursday next week, by the way. But I'll tell you that in a minute. You also get the DSPs. Look, we have in-color DSPs that are back in those awesome patterns. Polka dots and stripes. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that to me. Maybe a chevron. But there's no chevron this time. But that's okay because I love all the, the patterns that we have. So you'll get that each month. You'll get the refill. How many of you have not ordered the refill and then needed it? Me. I have done that. I might pads gone dry and then I don't have the refill. So this way you that won't happen. You'll get the marker. You'll also get a jar of embossing powder. This time the catalog has embossing powders in all five colors. So you get one of those. I'm really excited about that. Um, you'll get five mini clips. I don't have those to show you yet. Those weren't on our pre-order. Um, so you'll get all of that. Plus I'll make you a handmade card. Here's the one I've made yesterday with the blueberry. Um, you'll get a handmade card and you get a gift. Uh, so last year, um, everybody got a gift with their in color kit. And it was like maybe a bolt of ribbon, maybe an embellishment. Um, one time it was a pack of the gold striped bags. If you want to look on my blog um, and see kind of what my in color club is like, you can click on the um, actually yesterday's post has a link where you can just scroll through all the posts and see kind of what I do each month. Um, it's a really great way to get those in colors. Plus, a little bonus product each month. So if you're interested in that, right now all you have to do is sign up. No money this month. Next month we will. I'll start billing you through um, either PayPal or Square, and then I order and get it all ready for you and uh, send it in a little cute little bag. It's so cute. So that information is right here if you're looking to build up your colors. Okay, I think that's it. The announcements. Hi everybody, I'm seeing you Northern Ireland. Oh my goodness. Oh, my husband and I wanna to go to Scotland and Ireland desperately. That's on our next bucket list. That's the next thing we're gonna check off. Okay, so prizes from last week. I've already emailed the winners from last week. Rebecca won Dare to Dream and Lori Spertelli, hopefully I said that right. You got background bits, all right? So ladies, I've sent you an email, Lori, Rebecca, I've heard from you. Lori, I already have your, your, your mailing address. Um, okay, so that's that. And then I always um, tell you guys, oh, I would love to come craft with you, Jillian. Of course, I'd be very distracted. I'd wanna just like look at everything outside. I don't think I could focus. Um, I always ask you guys to share the video um, on Facebook and I choose a couple of winners each time. So we had a bunch of shares last week. I really appreciate that. Um, so Lori Jones, you are getting some tutti frutti sequins, but I need you to email me your address, please. And Debbie Green, you are also getting sequins. So please, ladies, I don't, ha I don't think I have either of your email addresses. So I need you to, I mean, mailing addresses. So I need you to email me, okay? Um, so I know where to send it. Um, Betty, I see your your question about the in color cost, and off the top of my head, I cannot remember. I think it's right at fifty because it includes more things than it did last year. There, my post from yesterday um, has all those details. So if you'll go to my blog and just scroll down a little bit and look at yesterday's post, it'll have that exact cost. I can't remember the exact cost because I have a cost with shipping and a cost without shipping. Okay, sorry, I should have written it down. All right, I think we're ready to craft. No, I need to tell you what I'm giving away this week. This week, two more Hostess sets, Tranquil Tulips from the Retiring Annual Catalog, it's going away, and In the City. Look at this one. I never got this one myself, but I've seen some really cool things in it. There's a lot of stamps in it, 60 stamps in that set. And this is one of those where you stamp it and then you stamp the color on top of it 
so that you don't have to color it in. Oh, that's a really good set, and I can't believe I never had it. Anyways, those two, Raffle Copter over on my blog, so go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and enter to win. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spam you or anything. It's just a, a fair way to draw names. So go ahead and go enter for those. And then the prize this week for sharing, I'm gonna actually give away two extra make and take kits. Um, if this is the first time you've joined me for Facebook Friday, I always offer my three make and takes for free with a $30 minimum order in the next four days. So these are two leftover extra kits that I made from the week that we did the watercolor wings. So two people who share my video today will win the make and takes. All right, so sh please share, I would appreciate it. And I think that's it, my whole desk is cleaned off. Now I'm gonna have to do the weird transitional thing where I take you guys off. So close your eyes, let's see if I cover it up. That way you can't see. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. All right, I need to switch you over. All right, here we go. All right, so today, close your eyes. You're gonna get kind of seasick while I do this. Hopefully I don't end the video. Today we're gonna make sweet treats. I went back through my retired products to look and see what we have not used that I wanna show you. All right, let's see, I gotta straighten things up here. I moved things around, I even moved my camera mount, so it's a little off. Um, let me move this so it's not in the way. Yikes, I'm dropping things. All right, so there's that. Here are the three things we're making. My dog did not like that noise, he's out of here. Um, did you guys see this over here? I'm wondering what this is. Yesterday I got my pre-order and I did not do a video just because I don't know, I just didn't. I know some of you like to see that. But this is a stamp chamois that is in the new catalog. Look, I've been using it. That's what it looks like. The more you clean your stamps on it, it just gets stained, but but then you rinse it out and there's no ink. It's amazing. So it's like a uh like a car chamois, I've been told. I don't really know what a car chamois is, but that's what somebody said. But anyway, you get it wet, you wring it out, and then you leave it on your desk and you just wipe your stamps off on it. And then when you're done, you just go rinse it out with water and you use it all over again. I am in love with it. So we're gonna leave it here and let's see if I can remember to actually use it. Okay, so while I am getting these things out of the way, let me remind you that here's the hostess code. If you would like to order before Monday, you will get these three make and takes in the mail free as a thank you from me. Make sure you use that hostess code. Uh, yeah, Debbie, you're gonna like that chamois. I think it was probably the thing we were all <laughs> most excited about. A new way to clean our stamps, so exciting. All right, so today, let me move the project sheet out of the way. Today's three sweet treats, right? Um, I kind of started um, with the thought of teacher appreciation. These are not teacher appreciation specific, obviously, but I thought these were projects that you could just change the sentiment and it could go to school. Because next week, here in Texas, at least, here in San Antonio, is teacher appreciation week. All right, so we're gonna start with this little guy right here. And this is so funny and so, I don't know, I just kind of had an idea for it and messed around until I got it. Um, it's a little tiny ice cream cone that would hold like M&Ms, just a, just a little bit, like a little serving. Um, and it's the sour cream container. Have you guys made a sour cream container before? That's what we call it. Remember when sour cream used to come in like those weird triangle shaped packages? Well, that's what this is. It's just a tiny one. So that's what we're gonna make. Um, it is, I am using two retiring stamp sets, of course, Sprinkles of Life. This came out a few years ago as a Ronald McDonald stamp set, and, which meant it, um, proceeds from it went to the Ronald McDonald, um, charity, Ronald McDonald House charity. Um, so it's been a while, it's been around for a while, and now it's going, and I'm really surprised, because I think this is a very popular set, and it has a coordinating punch, too. So we're going to use that, and then we're going to use another background stamp. This one's called brush strokes. You can see it kind of has like, it's supposed to you know, look like you used a paintbrush. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use that to make our cone. And of course, we're gonna use the Stamparatus. And if you are unfamiliar with the Stamparatus, it is a 
awesome stamp positioning tool that Stampin' Up! has developed and it is not available right now for everybody to order. You had to pre-order it um, in December. So if you didn't do that, don't worry. June is just a few weeks away and it's in the new catalog. Hi everybody, I see you joining me. I appreciate it. All right, so here is our big Brushstrokes background stamp and I love to use background stamps in general. Wait a minute, I wanna put this over. But I find that sometimes you can't get a solid stamp all the way across when you do it. But using this um, Stamparatus really does help that. Now I have lined my paper up, I've just put it up there in the edge so that, that if it moves around, I know that I can just go back and put it in that edge. And I'm gonna put my background stamp kind of towards the edge. I like to leave a little bit of space here. Sometimes it's harder to get a solid image next to the hinge. And you'll see in a minute what I do to kind of combat that. Um, so anyway, put it where you want it and then close that. And now we're gonna ink it with crumb cake. This is crumb cake cardstock. By the way, this morning, during all the storms, I pre-recorded all of these and I am in the process of uploading them over to my YouTube channel. Some of you like those clean versions so you don't have to hear all my chatter. <laughs> and they're easier to find when you need to come back and reference them. So make sure you're following that, my YouTube channel because I'm not posting them anywhere else. I'm just uploading them over there on YouTube. Now, did you see what I did? All like that, pushing. And over here, especially, just push down. And it's a big stamp, so you know, you kind of have to do that. There we go, perfect. Now, I want it darker. I feel like it's not dark enough, so let's ink it again. And make sure the paper's where it's supposed to be. And push down again. All right, now we're gonna turn the paper this way. You guys have seen me do this. You've seen me screw this up before. Hopefully I'm not gonna screw it up before. Screw it up again, and actually I almost did. Leave your paper that way take the plate off, hello, and move it over to the other side. Now we're gonna get a gingham look. I don't know why I cannot stamp and talk at the same time. Are you guys like that? If I start talking, like if we're doing make and takes at an event, I I'm, I'm just a mess. All right, so all the way over, and I'm just gonna do it one time this time because that second color can be kind of light. Oh, so cute. I'm so sad this one's retiring as is the diagonal um, diagonal background stamp that I like to use. Now you can take your stamp, sh stamp chamois, it's a tongue twister, and just wipe it off. It's awesome. This is in the new catalog. You guys will see it as soon as you get that catalog in your hands. My catalogs are on the porch. It's gonna take me a few weeks to process them, get them labeled, get all the goodies inside. If you've ordered from me at least $50 in the last six months, I sent you an email last week and I asked you if you wanted a catalog because I wanna send you one for free if you want it. So make sure that you've responded to that email and if you didn't get that email, let me know because I wanna make sure that everybody who's ordered from me in the last six months who wants a catalog gets one. All right, so we're gonna cut this down to three by three. We only need a small piece three by three. Look how tiny it is. Now, I'm gonna take my bone folder, and I'm actually gonna break down these card, um, these uh, fibers in this cardstock. See how I'm just kind of running it, making it kind of break down a little bit? That's gonna help me roll it into the shape. All right, so there we have it. I'm gonna use tear and tape, and the reason I decided to use tear and tape is because Fast Fuse is a little bit whiter, fatter, and I want to leave as much room in here for candy as I can. All right, so tear and tape. Now, normally I would say just do this. Actually, we're gonna just do that because I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. If you wanna seal your candy in, then you would put another piece of Fast Fuse there. There's several ways to seal this, and I couldn't decide, so I just kind of left mine. Well, let me, let me cut that so it doesn't create a problem. All right, which one's on top? I gotta do that one first, this one. Peel that off. Luckily, the UPS man came early today, so no barking dogs for you guys. All right, now we're gonna roll it like a toilet paper tube, okay? Just roll it over. 
I always say toilet paper tube. I guess it's just any tube, really. <laughs> Make a tube shape, a cylinder. And then that other side that had the adhesive, we're gonna pinch that closed like that. All right, so there's your tiny container. See, not too much, not gonna hold very much, but that's good, right? Because if I gave my kids 10 times this amount, they would eat 10 times this amount. This time, this way, I know that they won't eat too much. All right, and then you're gonna pinch it. Don't pinch it in the same direction. Pinch it the opposite direction like that. Now here's where I said, if you wanted to put a little adhesive, you could do that. Um, you could also clip it closed or put a staple. I couldn't decide, so I just left it because mine doesn't have candy in it yet. Okay, so let's make the ice cream top. All right, hello everybody. I'm taking a second to see, I just see all the hellos. Hello, hello, hello. All right, we're using pink pirouette, which is retiring, a very, very light pink. Um, if you're a fan of pink, you like this color, which is me, I really like it, but it's retiring, it's going away. Sad, and there's not one, well, I guess petal pink, but I don't know, I just, this pink is just a good baby pink. All right, now, you know what, I didn't, but that's okay. Um, I'm going from pink to pink, a light pink to a dark pink, so it's okay that I'm not cleaning my stamp, that's what I'm talking to myself about. Um, so I'm gonna do it also in Melon Mambo. Now, let me show you guys the stamp chamois. You just have it and you just wipe off your thing. So what I'm wondering is what is this gonna look like in a week? You know, what's it gonna look like? Because all that doesn't go away. After you rinse it all out and clean it, it still looks the same. But who cares, right? It's awesome, it's just there and it's just gonna clean. No spray, nothing needed. Okay, so now um, we gotta add some sprinkles. Let's add some sprinkles to the top scoop of ice cream right here. Chocolate sprinkles, that would be my middle daughter. She likes chocolate. All right, now here's the, it's called the Tree Builder Punch because in that stamp set, there's a tree, there is an ice cream cone, there's um, a cupcake, see all these things here? So it'll punch all these out, but it'll also punch all this other little stuff out too. And you can see there's a branch and a bird and an apple, a raindrop and a flower. So this is like six punches in one. I mean, that's a lot. It's retiring. I know, I'm sad. Oh wait, we need to use it again. But good things are coming too. I just want to make sure that you guys know what's leaving because inevitably in June, I always hear from somebody saying, I really wanted such and such. Hold on, I gotta get my fast use. I really wanted such and such. I can't find it on the website. And I'm like, it's retired, it's gone. So don't let that be you, okay? You want to get what you need before it goes and you have to go to eBay and pay way too much for it. All right, there we go, so cute. So cute and so tiny. I like that it's tiny because then we don't need a lot of candy inside. Then that's where you start getting um, pricey. Um, Marion, yes, so it came in a sealed package and it was a little bit damp, um, but they say to go get it wet. And so I just went in the sink and got it wet and wrung it out. So it's damp, it's damp. And it starts to um, dry out around the edges. I had mine out for several hours today. I would say probably three hours and it was getting a little bit dry on the edges. Um, and so then I, but it was still wet in, on the middle. So you would need, you know, if you were stamping all day long, you'd want to go and uh, re-wet it. They came around it on stage with bottles of water and just put a little bit of water on it. Okay, so I stamped this on Whisper White in Melon Mambo and I'm just, roughly cutting it, the width and the height of the words, which is my new thing. I Well, it's not my new thing, it's the thing I've been doing a lot lately. It's quick and easy, see? And I just cut that at an angle. So now let's get a dimensional. And add that right, let's go a little bit lower, right there. All right, I'm so lucky to call you my friend. You could also put thank you. You could put happy birthday. There's some other cute little sentiments on there. You are the sprinkles on the cupcake of life. Spread the love. Um, what else? The other ones were really long. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy cupcakes and that's the same thing. <laughs> I like that one. All right. So I'm using the white taffeta ribbon that you can find in the um, occasions catalog. 
also retiring. And I want my bow to be little. So I feel like I've not made it little enough. Just pull those little legs until it's the size you want. Because I don't want it to cover up too much of my little ice cream cone. Ooh, this looks ugly. I can see it over here on the camera. <laughs> it looks really ugly. I bet it's gonna look really ugly in a couple weeks after I use it every day. But that's okay. It's not supposed to be pretty. All right, there we go. Added that with a glue dot and we are done. So let's see them together. They're so cute, all three together. So cute. Little party favors. If you have like a little kickoff to summer party, I know that we always have a neighborhood um, like summer, kickoff to summer party at the pool. Those would be cute to give the kids. I don't know, that's so cute. Anyway, just something I had in my mind and I thought I could see if it worked and I think it works. All right, so I hope you guys like that. Oh, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. All right, so let me clear my space and we're gonna do a gift card holder next with the ice cream set that is called Cool Treats. And Cool Treats was like all the rage last year when it came out. This time last year, we were all going crazy over Cool Treats. And then it went to the annual catalog and then now it's retiring. All right, so you guys are gonna laugh, but I am using so many stamps today that I didn't have enough blocks. So I'm gonna have to borrow from my other set, which is over here, let me get one. I have a lot of clear blocks, a lot, but I don't have enough for all three of these projects at one time. So that is saying something. A lot of two and three step stamping, which uses a lot of blocks. Okay, I think I'm ready. Would you like to see what we're making with the cool treats? It is a gift card holder inspired by my friend Anne Marie, who I think I saw on here. She did a swap. I think I showed you guys her swap card. It opened like this and it was a gift card holder. So I have been playing around with it. You might've seen it earlier in the week. I did another one just like that. Um, I'm a little obsessed with it because it's so easy to make this. I always feel like a gift card holder is, I don't know, I have to like think of something, you know, complicated and whatever, but you'll see, this is simple. Anne-Marie is amazing and I don't know, it's really neat. She did it on her Facebook Live this week too, I think. Okay, so that's what it is, it looks like this, and it says, I hope your birthday is sprinkled with everything great, um, which is a set, which is a the sentiment in here. I'm gonna change it for teacher appreciation because I am gonna use this. I give them a gift card on Friday of teacher appreciation week, and I think a Baskin Robbins or maybe Cold Stone gift card, I would like that. I think they would too. Okay, so let's get started. Um, okay, let me show you this. This is crazy how, I don't know, this is one of those like, why didn't I think of that? It's a card, just a regular card base. Let me get my Simply Scored out. Just a four and a fourth by 11 piece of cardstock, like we would do for a card. And then it's scored in, in half, right? Oh, I have something random on my finger. So it's scored like that, like a card. But we're gonna add another score line to it, right here at two and three fourths. Now remember guys, I have all this information over on my blog. Today it went, it went up as soon as I went live, hopefully. Well, I'm a hot mess today. I don't know what's happening, but things are falling, things are crashing. Okay, so there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that in like that. So it looks like that. See, it's just, it's just one extra score line. I don't know why this just amazes me. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I know, Kathy, me too. Gift teachers love gift cards. Love it. Because then I would have like a little stack. And in the summer, you know, we, I'd go, we'd go get ice cream or we'd go shopping or something. It's so nice. Teachers love gift cards if you're wondering. All right, so I'm going to make a little tick mark right in the halfway point, two and an eighth right here. Um, because this is four and a fourth, so half of that is two and an eighth. And I just did that so I can make sure that my circle goes halfway. I don't wanna do it off-center. The first time I did it was off-center, so don't try to eyeball it. And I'm gonna line that up. See, there's like a little line in there. Can you guys see? There's a little line in there. And I'm just gonna line it up and punch half a circle. All right, and there it is. I'm again gonna use my tear and tape because I need to make sure that gift card fits in there. Oops, 
I'm always out of the, out of the frame. Um, and I feel like Fast Fuse might make it too, you know, like too small. And it won't be wide enough for that gift card to slide in there. All right, so do the tear and tape. It's narrower. Or you could do a little bit of liquid glue if you're fancy and you have good control, which I am not. All right, so there we go. Just like that, gift card. All right, the paper I'm using is Tutti Fruity from the Occasions catalog. This is a four inch by five and a fourth piece. This is a Calypso Coral color. And then here on the front, we're gonna do this pattern. And this piece measures two and, I can't remember, look on the sheet, two and, if it's two and three fourths, no, if it was two, yeah, two and three fourths, so then it's probably two and a half by four, two and a half by four. But if you want to make sure, go look at that, that PDF, because I actually measured it. All right, let's do our stamping. Now we're going to, why do I have all these pieces? I don't know. I messed up in the original video, you guys. Luckily, I did it first. That way, hopefully, I won't mess up here. We're gonna stamp the cones first. And I can never, whenever I do a line of these, I can never get this guy in the right place. I, he's always too far over or something. So I'm gonna wait and stamp him last. Um, so let's do the, the cone in the middle first. That's gonna kind of help us do our placement the rest of it. So soft suede, and I'm just gonna stamp right in the middle with the pointy cone. That's what I call it. When I go to the ice cream shop, I want the pointy cone. Sugar cone, I think, I think. All right, now this is peekaboo peach and we don't want full on peekaboo peach. We want light peekaboo peach. Retiring color, by the way. Um, and so I'm gonna stamp off here on my scratch paper and then come over here and stamp light. Doesn't that look like a, the color of the, what are these called, cake cones? I see, I am always, I'm always, I don't know what it's called, so I just call it the pointy cone. The pointy cone or the other cone. All right, now this is a little texture for our cone, and I'm gonna do this in full strength. There we go. All right, we've got our two cones, so let's set that aside. We'll do the popsicle stick in a minute. And now let's do the ice cream, the good part. Um, we don't need that one. We need Calypso Coral. It is very easy, Kathy, I agree. All right, actually, nope, we don't wanna start with that one. We wanna start with a solid one. And I need to make sure it's straight so I don't make a mistake. I guess it doesn't matter because I am cutting these out. All right, Calypso Coral, stamp off, okay? And stamp on your white. Now this one, which I did a minute ago, the swirly one, in full strength, Calypso Coral. There we have that. Now we're going to, let's move this to the side. We're gonna do Lemon Lime Twist. And can you guys guess what flavor this is? Where's my original? You probably can. Mint Chocolate Chip. My middle daughter's favorite too. She loves mint chocolate chip. She's kind of a, my middle child is kind of the, the kid that, you know, flies by the seat of her own pants. Well, I guess my third one is too, but the middle one likes different things than everybody else. Flavors, particular, in particular. All right, a few, I don't know, maybe we need some in the middle. This is um, the soft suede that I stamped the cone in. Oh no, it's like I don't know when to stop. I guess the, if it's mint chocolate chip, they'd be all through there, huh? Um, okay, now this one, now this little snap is a stinker, and I'll tell you why, because it is solid photopolymer, and sometimes solid photopolymer stamps, when you stamp it, you get just half the image, and that's because it's a flat surface, and there's no cushion for that stamp to move around. So get a foam pad under you when you have a real big solid photopolymer. You can use our piercing mat, you could use any kind of foam, this is something that I have on hand, uh, fun foam from the craft store, those work also. All right, so this is also Calypso Coral, and I'm doing that one in full strength. I don't know if that's the official term, full strength, but that's what I'm calling it. All right, there we go. That Oh, that's just a little shine line, and it shows up in a little bit when it dries. Okay, 
Now, I think that's all I need to cut. Yep, let's close the pads. And look how many stamps that was. That was a lot of stamps. See, I'm not kidding, that's a lot. It's fun, this is called two-step stamping when you stamp one stamp onto the other to make kind of dimension and uh, give your image a little, a little more, not necessarily realistic look. The next one is a little more realistic, but gives it more dimension and detail. All right, so now let's see, these are the framelits that go with it. And these are really fun too, because you can build up ice cream cones and things without even stamping. You can do different colors. There's a bowl, a spoon, a cherry. I mean, there's look little, little tiny little sprinkle things. Um, I don't know, different cones. I just really, really enjoy the set. Now this one is gonna cut out our popsicle and you can see it has that stick, but we're not gonna use the stick. And these are the kind of framelits that do not leave a white border around. The one we do next does leave a white border around it. So you'll see the difference. See how when it cuts out, it leaves some of that color? And then when you, you pull it out, there's no white border around it. I don't know which I like best. I don't know if I have a preference because sometimes I do like that white border. And then, but then I like this too without the white border. All right, let's put it all together. If I can find everything now. All right, we're gonna cut this little guy off. We don't need that popsicle stick. Cut him off. And we're going to, let's go ahead and put these two on. And then we'll see where we need to stamp our our um, our popsicle stick. Nope, not that one. That one's so cute, I like that one. I think that's my favorite. All right, so now the fat popsicle stick. If I want it there, I want it about there. See how scientific I am? If I want it there, I want to stamp it there. That's how I do things. <laughs> All right, three sweet treats right in a row. Let's put it all together for our gift card holder. I'm excited because now I actually have three of these because I made the original one and then I made the second one. Oh, here it is, that's what I was looking for. I made the second one when I pre-recorded this video and now I have a third. I like getting things done when I'm making videos because I, I like to send the teachers things next week um, every day. I, I, have a high respect for our teachers, especially for my kids' teachers. <laughs> we have to put up with my kids all day. So I like to send them something fun every day. Um, and I'm gonna do what I did last year, um, the jars, the mason jars, a different mason jar every day, and then a gift card on the last day. Um, so I'll post pictures of it um, next week. But it's if you wanna see what I do, it's exactly what I put on my blog last year for teacher appreciation. I actually went and looked back at it to remind myself. They have two different teachers, of course, so I can do the same thing. All right, there is our sentiment and a few of those little chocolate chip sprinkle thingies. And we're gonna put that down here. I didn't want it to be seen while the card was closed. I wanted it to be seen when you open the card. So just a three-fourths by four-inch piece. And last but not least, we have to put a ribbon down here. Lemon Lime Twist, mini striped ribbon. This is a good ribbon. You haven't used a stamp set yet, Patricia? Oh my goodness, you need to get it out. Especially this time of year. I feel like when summer starts, this is the like fun, you know, um, ice cream and beach and pool and all that. Even if we're not doing those things, I still like to stamp with them. And this set really, you know, it's great for birthdays and stuff all year. All right, so there you go, gift card holder. I was gonna stop today and get those gift cards, but it was like a monsoon outside, so I didn't do that. All right, I hope you guys like it. Think about this design, I mean, I've already done it two different ways. You could, and Emery did it one way, two ways, I think. So you could really, I mean, you could use that all over the place, all kinds of different themes. All right, 
so let's see I think I'm gonna need some of these blocks for the next project so let me use my chamois and clean those off one more and the next one is a triangle box and I have to tell you guys well I've run out of space and I have nowhere to put this let's see all right I have to tell you guys that I was looking around trying to come up with an idea for a fun project and this was actually um, something that I found um, as made with one of the punch boards I think it was the, the gift bag punch board and I did it and I realized I could make this without the gift bag punch board you know some things on the gift bag punch board you need to do those pleats but this didn't this was just kind of measuring equal distance. So I thought, you know, we can do this without. So this is a triangle box. Um, you could use this for lots of occasions. Obviously, happy birthday. Treats inside, it would fit a reasonable amount of candy inside. Um, you could do it as a party favor, so change that as a thank you. Um, you could even have it like a place setting on a table because it sits so nice. You could have their name on it or just have their party favor sitting at the table. It says thank you, so wherever they sit, they get their party favor. So cute! Okay, so what am I using? Sweet Cupcake, Retiring, three set st three step stamp, one, two, three. So as opposed to the other one, we did two. This time we're doing three. It also has coordinating framelits. And this guy right here is one of my favorites because it's a banner that folds here. It folds down and out. So it's kind of three-dimensional and I use it all the time. Um, two words, I always love when we have word framelits to use. Um, Sometimes it's just easier to cut out a, a word and put it on there. Okay, so let's get started. Let's make the box first. And remember these measurements are over on that PDF on my blog, but I have the cheat sheet here. Let me get my Simply Scored out. And put it right here. This is a piece of Flirty Flamingo. Like I told you earlier, it is um, retiring. But it's coming back as an as a um, core color so we'll have it at least for the next five years it is seven and a half by six and a half and we're gonna score the long side let's see score the long side at one and a half turn it around and score it again at one and a half then we're gonna score the short side at two four and six and I can tell that I didn't cut my cardstock straight that may be a problem, but we'll see. All right, let's burnish these lines. And I was thinking about using this box for a gift for Mother's Day. I don't want to say anything because sometimes she's on here. But this you could make, you know, it's short, but you could make it longer. Just add your length here and just do an inch and a half on each side. So you could make this long if you wanted more candy or whatever you're going to put in there. Um, okay, I've got to tell you what I'm doing so I don't screw it up. I'm going to cut these lines up along the long side, and I'm going to cut that one off. Now, we're going to cut these at an angle, and at a pretty severe angle. Usually, we cut like this, and I tell you to cut these, just cut off. Now, this time, we're going to go almost to the middle and cut those off. That's going to give us that triangle shape. And again, this is not exact measurements. This is how I roll. I don't ever do anything quite exact. It's usually kind of rough, but we want to make that just a skinnier triangle. And when we get down to the end, when we're putting our box together, if it's too big, you'll be able to trim it off a little bit. All right, so cut that off and you're leaving about maybe half of an inch of a point there. Kind of looks like a crayon. Now do the same thing on the other side and cut those off. And I'm actually gonna do it like that. Okay, up to that corner and up to that corner. And there we go. All right, so can you see what it looks like? And can you kind of, if you've used the punch board, you can kind of imagine how that would look too. All right, so let's put adhesive right here on this, this tab. Use a strong adhesive, fast fuse or tear and tape. 
And we're going to fold that down and fold this up. So we've got three sides. A triangular prism is what we used to call it in first grade math. All right, now we're going to fold these in. And this is where you're going to see if you need to trim these a little bit. See how that one's a little bit off? We'll trim it. So fold all these in, and that one's perfect. I'm going to put some adhesive on that last one. And I'm just going to take my scissors and trim it off, even. Now fill it up with candy, close it up, and put adhesive on that last one. And there, whoops, stick into my jacket, there is your triangle box. Ta-da! Looks like that one needs to be trimmed just a little bit too. There we go. All right, now. We're going to put some Tutti Frutti Designer Series paper on here. Over here, why did I put it all over there? I don't know. Our Tutti Frutti Designer Series paper is only six by six. And you'll see, I've cut a two inch six by six strip. And you'll see that when I wrap this around, it's not going to meet all the way. So we're gonna make sure that that's where we put our tag, okay? So let's just put a strip of adhesive all the way down the center and then on the short ends. And let me see which side I like the best for the front. Well, they all look pretty much the same. So I'm gonna start here. Let me think about this. Nope, I want to go higher up here. Higher up like that. Ah, if I could get it on straight. Higher up, that's okay, we're gonna cover it up. And wrap it around. I want the gap to be towards the, the top. You'll see in a second because my tag is going to be it's going to cover up everything from there up so if I put that gap down here then we would see it so put the gap towards the top all right so let's stamp our cupcake now I'm using again flirty flamingo and we're going to need that scratch piece of paper when you um, stamp this three-step stamp, you could go and look on Pinterest and there are a ton of different color combinations that you could do. Um, you could use two colors together, three colors together. Um, there are charts on, face, on a Pinterest that you can look at that helps you. But I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna keep one color for the top and one color for the bottom. And the way I do that, I'm starting with the most solid and I'm gonna stamp off and then stamp on. So I've got that light flirty flamingo. Now I'm going to get the one that's a little less solid, the middle one, and they're numbered on the package, you'll see. Stamp off again and stamp right on top. It's still light, but it's building that color up so that even though I'm stamping off, it's making that dimension in there. The last one I'm keeping full strength of that flirty flamingo. And there we go. A nice strawberry icing. All right, this time we're gonna use Daffodil Delight for the cupcake wrapper. Let's see, I'm gonna start with the most solid one. And you can actually go backwards on this. You could start with the first one. But I, th I really don't think it matters. Go from first to last. Um, I don't know what that is and I don't like it, so we're gonna do it again. Stamp chamois to the rescue, sitting right there. Okay, let's do that again. Daffodil Delight, stamp off and stamp, very light. Now we're gonna use the one that is a little more, it's still the same size, it has little lines. So Daffodil Delight, stamp off, stamp right on top. And then the last one I'm gonna do full strength. There we go. All right, now let's stamp our, our candle. I really like the candle. And it has, I think it has two stamps, so you could do two different colors, and it has the flame also. But I just wanted it to be black and white to match those papers, or that DSP. Okay, let's bring over the big shot again. And let me get the framelits. We need the cupcake, the cupcake paper, and the candle. And the candle is a little persnickety here on this. Oh, look. See, I knew I was gonna talk about it, so it went right on. So I started with the smallest one. That way, if I needed to move my paper, I could. Because sometimes the small ones jump around on this magnetic platform. But today, boom, they're perfect. I love it. 
Nice job. Oh, did you see that? Did you guys see that? It is playing games with me. It jumped after I even put the top on it. Oh, I, victory too early. All right, stay there, framelit. I hope you guys talk to your tools too like I talk to mine. I hope I'm not the only one. All right, thank you, Lynn. That's very nice. And it is yummy colors. Michelle, I think every time I've used this stamp set, I, I always go back to these colors. Maybe that's the kind of um, cupcake I'd want to eat. I, I don't know. I don't think I'd really turn away any cupcakes, honestly. <laughs> well, no, I'm trying to be good. I would. But if I had my choice. Uh, and I put that, let's see. No, we want that on top. All right, I put a little adhesive on the back, ed on the back bottom edge. Layer that. Let's get our, this is just a stitched square that I cut from Whisper White. Um, and I'm gonna do it on the, the diagonal, it's turned. A Couple of dimensionals right in the middle. And then our little candle can go on with a glue dot right in the middle. There we go, so cute. That looks like it needs to be higher. There we go, I think that's better. All right, sentiment, we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the middle project, the first project, the first project, where we cut it to the height and the width of the word. There we go. Now, if you are particular and you wanna make sure it's exactly straight, then use your paper trimmer. But if you're like me and you just want it done, <laughs> <laughs> then you just get your scissors and you just cut it because no one will care. All they're going to care about is what's inside. All right, I'm going to put that right over the middle like that. And of course, we got to finish with a bow, flirty flamingo striped ribbon. I have gone through bolts and bolts of this striped ribbon. It's a great ribbon. Also retiring. All right, there we go. Cut these to an angle. Hello, Charlie. Charlie just came in and is looking at me like I'm talking to him. He knows the drill. I don't know, maybe he wants something. Maybe he wants a cupcake. All right, there we go, so cute. All right, let's go back and, oh, it needs to be this way. Remember, we want the gap at the top. And we're gonna put, you yell at the Mary, oh, I was trying to, I was trying to figure out, yes. I, I, I save the yelling at my tools for when the camera's not on. <laughs> All right, so I put it on with dimensionals and that's it. Yay, look, I have three. I have to have a party now. So fun and cute. Look, the first time I did it, I did it with a smaller square. And the second time I did it with a bigger square. Hmm. All right, you guys, I hope you like this project. I um, challenge you to make these triangle boxes in different sizes because I really think that you can do it. Um, just make that middle length longer and keep all the other measurements the same. All right, so thank you for helping me today get my teacher appreciation gifts done. Nah, they're not done. Just started, really. Here's what we made. We've got lots of things today. Um, remember the project sheet. Where did my project sheet go? The project sheet's over on my blog, and you can print it out. I don't know. Mine's gone. Disappeared. Anyway, you can print it out. It has all the measurements. It has all the products listed. It has the hostess code. If you want these make and takes for free in the mail, make sure your order is placed by Monday night at midnight. Um, and if you want to order the Share What You Love as your Facebook Friday order, yes, you will get both. You will get um, all the freebies I'm offering with the Share, with you, Share What You Love as well as... I think the rabbit just came in, as well as um, the make and takes for free. So you can double dip on this incentive. I want you guys to take advantage of everything that, that is being offered right now. All right, I'm going to take just a second. Thank you, Marion. I appreciate that. Thank you, Lauren. I'm just going to see if there's any questions that I missed. I forget to do this sometimes, and I hate, I don't want you guys to think I'm ignoring you. I just have a hard time focusing how do you join my YouTube channel, Jane? Okay, great question. So if you go, if you go to YouTube and just um, search Pink Buckaroo, you'll find it. You can also go to my blog and there are little icons on the side. Um, one of them is YouTube, click that. And then you can click, um, what's the word? Uh, subscribe, I think. 
and that way it'll let you know when I've uploaded new videos. Good question. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I might have covered it all. Keep it in a DVD case to stay wet. Oh, Leanne, that's a great idea. She said, here's the stamp chamois that I showed you guys. Um, that is in the new catalog. And she said a DVD case. So ours, look, will it fit? It would fit in just a clear stamp case. Mmm, that would look a lot nicer than my Ziploc bag. That's a great suggestion. All right, Terry, I won't tell. I won't tell your boss. Don't worry. <laughs> You can work and listen to, when I watch Facebook's lo Facebook Lives, I'm usually doing something else and I'm just listening. All right, I think we covered it all, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. By the way, next Facebook Friday will be on Thursday again, uh, Thursday at two o'clock. My husband is taking us to the beach for Mother's Day next weekend, so we'll be leaving Friday. Um, so Thursday at two o'clock and it'll be all the new ink colors. I'm gonna be showcasing those for you. All right, great guys, have a great weekend. Let me know if you have questions um, and don't forget to enter for the prizes. Have a great one, bye.